Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see what is mean by programmable logic array. So that is in short called as PLA. So uh, first we will see what is mean by PLA and what is the difference between PLA and the PAL and other uh, ROM techniques like uh, FROM, PROM and other types. So first we will see the general explanation and then we will go for a particular example where our doubt will be cleared. So first of all the very basic meaning of PLA is it's a programmable logic array so it is not programmed by the manufacturer so it is left to the user uh, at what points he want to um, uh, program it so at what points he want to connect that particular and and or gates so uh, it is basically the user's choice to program the uh, logic array so that's the meaning of PLA programmable logic array so uh, but it is different from IC because we know integrated circuits uh, that is the chips which comes for AND gates, NOT gates and other uh, 7430, 7420. So they are already uh, fused or programmed by the manufacturer itself. So we can't change the programming of that ICs. We can just use them to implement our logic functions. So they are very low level types of circuits which are implemented with the help of ICs but to implement the complex circuits we need more uh, tools so we are here to use the PLA so which is used to implement the higher or complex levels of uh, boolean expressions so it's a kind of programmable logic device that is PLD so it belongs to the PLD family which can be reconfigured by the user so it is up, uh, left to the user for its reconfiguration so the PLA contains programmable AND array and programmable OR array. So this is very important here. So the PLA contains programmable AND as well as OR array. But the PLA is uh, different from that of PAL in the sense. So PAL is the programming array logic. So it has got a uh, programmable AND gate but uh, the OR array is not programmable in case of PAL. So we can only able to program the AND array here and we are not allowed to program the OR array. And in case of uh, F from P ROM, so we can uh, program the AND array but uh, we cannot program the OR array. So it is complement to the PL here. So in case of PLA, so both AND as well as the OR array are programmable. So this is the basic uh, difference between PLA and the PAL. So I hope you get the a uh, small idea about what is mean by PLA and uh, to which family it belongs and why we are using this PLA so the difference between PLA and PAL as well so now uh, let's move to an example so quickly try to understand how we can implement the PLA so here is the problem which says use 4 cross 8 cross 3 PLA implement the following boolean expressions so as I said the PLA is mainly used to implement the uh, complex boolean expressions so they have given 3 boolean expressions namely f1, f2 and f3 we need to use this 4 cross 8 cross 3 so where the meaning of 4 indicates inputs and 8 uh, the number of product terms which is equivalent to the number of AND gates and 3 is the number which indicates uh, number of outputs so this is input and the output in between is the number of uh, product terms so that is 8 in this case now uh, the x y z are the variable so these are the min terms which are given so 1 2 4 and 6 7 is, are the min terms for first expression and uh, similarly for second one 2 4 5 6 are the expressions and uh, for third we have 1 4 and 6 so uh, let us uh, quickly uh, first we will try to convert these min terms in term, uh, into the uh, variables that is x, y, z so that it will be uh, easy for us to implement. So let us take a uh, 3 k maps here. So uh, 3 variables are there. So I will be having totally 8 uh, boxes here. So these k map rules you know. So I will just uh, quickly show you how I can solve. So this is x, y, z and 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So due to gray code rules I, I will be writing. Uh, first one one and then one zero so similarly uh, it is done for the second as well as the third box here so the given so numbering will be done here zero one two three four five six seven so similar things will be done for the second and third boxes as well so uh, fill up one whenever uh, the min term is present so whichever min term is present 
जस्ट पुट दैट वन एज द वन एंड अदर्स लिव एज ब्लैंक सो वन टू फोर सिक्स सेवन इज प्रेजेंट इन केस ऑफ फर्स्ट वन सो आई विल पुट वन एट द फर्स्ट बॉक्स दैट इज वन बॉक्स एंड फॉर सेकेंड बॉक्स आई विल पुट वन फॉर फोर्थ बॉक्स आई विल पुट वन फॉर सेवंथ एंड सिक्स बॉक्स एज वेल आई विल बी पुटिंग वन सो एट थ्री जीरो इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इन दिस मिन टर्म एक्सप्रेशन सो आई विल बी नॉट पुटिंग वन और एनी वैल्यू हियर सो इट विल बी लेफ्ट ब्लैंक so if we know this one grouping so we have to group the min terms uh, as maximum as possible so how much we can group uh, we should be uh, grouping so in case of this table we are only able to group two terms at a time so uh, so this can't be grouped with anyone so I, it will be a individual group so we'll be getting x bar y bar z and uh, these two are grouped together so x is changing so it will be cancelled out and uh, y z bar is left here and then i will group these together uh, i will be getting x and to y and i will be grouping this one uh, with this one here so we know corner uh, min terms can be grouped together so i will be getting x and to z bar so add these all min term uh, variable expressions and uh, write it once here so f1 will be equal to x bar y bar z plus y z bar plus x z bar plus x y so I write it temporarily like this. Or like this. So you just take this x z bar uh, to the first, and then write y z bar. So I will tell you why I am writing like that. So similarly, do for the second. That is, put two, four, five, six as one. Two, four, five, six as one, and then uh, group these together. So we'll be getting x into y bar plus y into z bar. And for the third one also, do the same thing. We'll be getting x bar y bar z plus x z bar. So you can observe here. So this is the expression x bar y bar z plus x z bar is present here. So x bar y bar z plus x z bar. So uh, if I don't, uh, I didn't have taken this one first, then it could be not matching. So in order to make it a uh, phone in terms of f3, I have taken x z bar uh, prior to the y z bar. So uh, finally, I have got the three terms here. So f1 will be equal to f3 plus y z bar plus x plus x into y. Then f2 equal to x y bar plus y z bar. Then f3 is equal to x bar y bar z plus x z bar. All right. So now it's time to implement the PLA design here. So I have written the same equations here. That is f1, f2, and f3. So as you can, uh, uh, as I have shown you, so it is a four cross eight cross three design. So number of inputs are four. Then uh, product terms that is AND gates and then the outputs. So take four uh, inputs here. So x is first input, y is second input, and z is the third input. So take the complements as well here. So by applying a NOT gate over there. Then uh, f3 is taken, so f1 contains the expression f3, so I have to take back the f3 here. So I have taken f3 back and I have created an implement or the complement of that one, and uh, I have four inputs ready. So x, y, z, and f3 are the four inputs here. So f3 is a output as well as input, so it is acting uh, parallelly. So now draw the eight AND gates here. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. So these are the eight AND gates. So now I have to take the three OR gates here. So one, two, and three. These are the three OR gates which are present. So now I have uh, made a skeleton of the PLA design. So now I have to make the connections here. So how I am going to make these connections? Let us see. So as we know, uh, x bar, y, z bar. So uh, these are the unique product terms which are produced in our expression. So x bar, y bar, z, x, z bar, x, y bar, y, z bar, x, y, y, z bar. So these are the terms. So you just uh, uh, make the connection such that you produce all the expressions or the uh, min term expressions that is x bar, y bar, z uh, adds the output of this AND gates. So first I will uh, start with this one. So x bar, y, z bar I need. So what I will be doing? A solder at x bar, then a y, then z bar. So when these three are multiplied with each other, I will be getting x bar, y, z bar as the output of this AND gate. Similarly for second, I will be uh, I want x, y, z as the output. So what I will do? Uh, I will solder at x, y, and z. I will be getting x, y, z. For third one, that is fourth one, y, z bar. So y I will be taking here and z I have taken there. And x, z bar. So x is here and uh, z is here, right? So uh, x, y bar similarly do for these things also. So at the end, I will be having x and y. So this is the product which will be giving x and y. 
so i have done uh, the and gate connection so i will be indicating with the cross them so now it's time to make the or gate connections so how i can do the or gate connections so for f1 i am having uh, the output equation that is f3 plus yz bar plus xy so the first input for this one is f3 so make a connection at f3 so i will be having f3 first then yz bar so yz bar is here make it make a connection here or or else i can say a solder here or fuse here anyone you can take and then the last term is xy so take this xy as well so when these three uh, terms are added up together they will be giving us the sum of product terms that is sop form of the f1 so i will be getting f1 as the output here so i am now i am done with the f1 so similarly go for the second one that is xy bar plus yz bar so xy bar is here so make a connection over there and then uh, i will be left with yz bar so yz bar is here so i have to find yz bar here so yz bar is here and these two connections when added up together they will be giving f2 and the last expression that is f3 is having x bar y bar z plus xz bar so x bar y bar z is here and the xz bar is here so when they will be added up together so i just need to make a or connection here so that will be a dot basically so at that time it will be giving f3 as the output so this f3 will be fed back and it will be acting as a input for the first equation so this is how you can implement a pla design so i hope you like this video please guys if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel and like the video if you found content useful thanks for watching